Almost all cartilaginous beings have taken advantage of their capacity to capture magnetic impulses to find their food in total darkness, even when they're buried deep. Sharks and stingrays possess organs known as ampullae of Lorenzini, distributed along their entire head, forming a network of sensitive pores. They detect small variations in the electric fields that all living beings generate. But the marbled torpedo ray goes even further, as they're capable of producing electric discharges to shock and even paralyze their prey or defend themselves against aggression. The intensity of the discharge varies with the size of the individual and with the time that has elapsed from its last use, since it has to recharge its electric generators. It also uses electromagnetic signals to communicate with its kin and to find them in the enormity of the night so that it can mate in the spring. They're ovoviviparous, and in September, this female will give birth to between 5 and 35 offspring, miniature replicas 7 to 10 centimeters long that are totally self-sufficient. Until then, they will patrol the sandy seabeds close to the coast, feeding off small fish, mollusks, and cephalopods buried in the sand. The eyesight of octopuses, squid, and cuttlefish are a marvel of evolution. In the most absolute darkness, they can see the faintest bioluminescence perfectly well, thanks to the sensitivity of their retina, which perceive various wavelengths simultaneously. Projecting both their elastic tentacles three times their length, they trap their victims in lightning attacks. Once bound by its other eight shorter legs, it begins to chew it with its parrot-like beak, which is so characteristic of cephalopods. The bottoms of the Mare Nostrum are systematically combed by a tireless army of sea cucumbers, sea urchins, and starfish in search of food. With the exception of small ocellum found on the tips of the arms of some starfish, these spiny creatures lack any real vital organs. Like the rowers of a Roman galleon, hundreds of perfectly coordinated ambrolacral feet do more than just move it. Sensitive epidermal cells are the primary receptors, but their feet also aid in breathing and in the reception of luminous, tactile, and chemical stimuli to help in the difficult task of perceiving its environment. Its mouth, made up of five mobile calcareous plaques, like jaws, as well as the modular formation of its dermis that allows it to move its feet with dexterity, render the aphioroids rather active predators. As with other echinoderms, they possess a very archaic nervous system, made up of a main processing ring, which runs through the disc connecting a radial sensory system 
that transmits anything touched or felt by its feet. Many fish choose an intense shade of red to go unnoticed before their predators. This is because without artificial light, it reflects a wavelength similar to an undefined shadow that isn't easily perceived. And if they remain immobile, they have a greater chance of surviving another night. These detritus-rich seabeds, spread throughout the continental shelf, are surprisingly fertile places where highly specialized beings live. Although they seem deserted, upon the arrival of nightfall, they come to life in a rush of activity. Some benthic beings use these sediments to hide, hoping not to be seen by their prey or their predators. Almost completely buried, some don't miss an opportunity. And although they're diurnal animals, the voracity of their species makes them attack on reflex. We know very little about this small cousin of the conger eel. Although it's amply extended throughout the sedimentary coastal platforms of the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, and even the Northeast Indian Ocean and Red Sea, the behavior of the so-called Balearic conger eel is still a mystery to science. It is believed that they go through a pelagic phase and that at a certain age, they go down to the bottom, spending the rest of their lives buried during the day in the great sandy plains of the continental shelf. After sunset, they move around in search of food. It seems that through their marked lateral line and the extreme sensibility of its crystalline skin, they might be able to feel vibrations that warn them of approaching intruders, even when buried in the sand. 